Hi, my name is Jason Matthew from We Can Edutech, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to add images in Articulate Rise 360. So let's get straight into it, guys. So I'm in my Articulate Rise 360 account, and these are the my courses here. So if you have been following the videos in sequential order, you would know that we have created the Biochem 101 course. So I'm going to click on Biochem 101. And you can see I have an introduction section, I have a cell section, and within the cell section, there's a nucleus lesson and a mitochondria lesson. So we have already added um, blocks in both lessons. So I'm going to continue doing so. So we're going to go to the mitochondria lesson and I'm going to click on edit content. Now, in like let's say in, like in this one above here, about the instructor, there's add content. And the reason why you're seeing add content versus edit content is because we have not added anything in the about the instructor lesson. But in the mitochondria lesson, I have already added content in there. So now we have to click edit content button. So I click on edit content and now I'm in the mitochondria lesson. So this is some of the stuff that we have done before. So today, what we're going to do is that we want to add an image. So if you look here, there's the block toolbar. I can click on the image block here. And as usual, Rise360 does its thing. It's going to add a placeholder image there. And then you have to go in and edit to suit. So I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to click on the edit button. And there I have a few options. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change this default image of the bike. So I go to the right and I click on edit. So once I click on edit, I have a few options. I can replace the image with an image on, of my own that I have on my computer. I can replace the image with one that is in the content library and they're like over a million of those or more image stock images. I can crop the image and I can edit all tag. So we'll talk about these two um, just now, but let's go with replacing the image first of all. So I'm going to replace from the content library. So I'm going to search the content library for an image of the mitochondria. And the other thing I'm going to do is that I don't want a photo of the mitochondria. I want an illustration. So I click on the drop down menu and I choose illustration. And now there are some images that I can choose from. So I'm thinking about this one here. So I click on select. And what you see there is that the default placeholder bike image is replaced by the stock image of the mitochondria. So now let's click on the edit once again and let's see what we can do. So we have already added, replaced the default placeholder image with something else. Now let's look at the crop. So what you can do is that you can actually crop the size of the image. So if I click on crop image, you see now I see the image here and I can hold the click and drag on these handles to crop the image. So maybe I don't want all that black background and I can bring it into the image and once I'm happy with the cropping I can click on save I could also if I want to make it a perfect square I could also say constraint to square so I'm happy with that I can click save so now the image is cropped a bit so let's go back okay the other thing is that you can add all text to your images so I could say, um, I could just put mitochondria, oops, mitochondria structure, something like that. Um, if by chance that the image was something that was decorative, so it was just, you know, for aesthetics and not for information, what you can do is that you can put, as they say here, you can put open quotation marks, close quotation marks. And then like for instance, if a screen reader is reading it, it knows that that image doesn't have a learning value. It's just there for aesthetics or something like that. But in this case, this image is to signify, is to show, represent the 
mitochondria structure. So I click on OK and I could also click on the caption here and I could put a uh, structure of mitochondria. All right, so if I look, well, when I close this off, so let me close this off and you can see structure of the mitochondria, that's there. Now let's go return to edit. So I'm gonna click on the edit button once again. And now that we have edited the image itself, we have cropped it, we have added all text and so on. Let's go to settings. Now one of these things here is zoom on click. And what that means is that once this feature is enabled you these when the learner clicks on the image it goes full screen so let's see how that looks i'm going to x this off again and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the top right corner and click on the preview button so you can we can see how this looks um from a student's standpoint so i click on preview and now the mitochondria lesson opens up in preview mode so this is what the learner will see so Remember in the previous videos we'd have added text and so on. Uh, if we go lower down, we see our structure for our mitochondria. Now, if I click on it, you see it zooms in and fills up the whole screen. So that's what that really does. So I'm going to click on edit and I'll go to the return to the mitochondria block that we are working on. And you see there is the heading or the caption there. This is a structure of a mitochondria. All right, so I'm gonna click on edit once again. And let's see what else we have in these settings. Another thing is that we can change the background of the, um, the block that the image is in. So if I want a different color, I want I can even try to match the color that's in this background here. So you can do something like that if you like. Now, another cool thing about Ride 360 is that on the left hand side here you see the what we have right now is that the image is centered in that block but if we click on the drop down menu we have so many other images so many other options sorry. so right now it's image center if i want the image to be um, taken up the whole width of the of the lesson i can click full width so if i do preview let's see how that looks so I'm going to go down. You see, this is how the image looks. All right, I can click on edit once again. Um, let's see, so I could go, let's go back to centered. I can even go image and text. And in that case, it puts the mitochondria, the image on the side, and then you could enter notes here. So you could start entering notes here as well. So that's uh, another thing you can do. You can even add text on image. So it takes the caption there and you can add other stuff. Um, just remember that for some screen readers or most screen readers, they can't read text on an image. So so, so that should be mindful of that in terms of accessibility. Let's see what other options we have. We have a carousel. So what that does is that if I click on it, uh, let's go, let's click on edit. If I click on add images, I can then add additional images. So you'll have like a whole slideshow of, of images there. So that's another one you can do. Uh, let's see. Oh, the two column grid. This is a good one. So if I click on the two column grid, what it does is that if I go now to edit, it has the first image that we already chose, but then I can add a second image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second image. And once again, it prompts me, do you want to upload an image that you have stored on your computer? So if I click on that, it'll go to my documents and my files on my computer. And you could choose an image there. Or I can go back to the content library. So I'm going to go to the content library now. And in this case, what I want to teach my class is that the mitochondria is considered the powerhouse of the cell. So let's make that kind of visual representation. So I'm going to type in power plant, see what comes up. And I'm going to choose this time. I want it as a photo. I like this one. So I'm going to select this one. It takes a little while to upload. And there we go. So now it's side by side there and I can click on edit and I can do the same kind of thing. I can 
crop the image, I can add the alt text, I can remove the image, or I can replace it with something else. And, and that's how you can do it. So now, if you're watching the lesson, I have the structure of the mitochondria here, and I'm saying to come, and I'm visually trying to prompt the students that it's considered the powerhouse and the power plant of the cell that produces the energy for the cell. So guys, it was a short, sweet one about how to add images and how you have that flexibility that if you change your mind, you can have it in different forms and ways. Please visit our We Can EduTech channel to view our other videos on Rise360 and other educational technologies. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for viewing. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.